who are the best possible cheap overpowered players you can sign in the Serie A and FIFA 23's Ultimate Team. I'm your boy Viva La FIFA and will tell you everything about it. If you loved the video, click the i button for more in this category. For the coolest shirts, go to soccerdealshop.cn. Link is down in the description. If you buy these amazing shirts for a couple of bucks, use the code VIVA and you will get a hidden surprise as well as a coupon code. Enjoy the amazing shirts, sweatshirts and so much more on soccerdealshop.cn. And if you want to buy yourself the best possible God Squad to buy victories in FUT23, go to u7buy.com, another link in the description. If you buy the coins with the code VIVA, you'll receive millions of coins for a couple of bucks and then FIFA will be so much fun. Well boys and girls, if you loved the video, don't forget to click the i button for this episode about the La Liga, Bundesliga and especially the Premier League to get yourself the best possible cheap team. See the A goalkeepers to start off with. We're going for super cheap between 1 and 15k, then very cheap, 15 to 25, and the cheap players is the most expensive in this category, it's 25 to 50k. Luckily, the Serie A gives us more opportunities, but Chesney is the only reasonable cheap goalkeeper you can get, but you still pay around 12k for Chesney, because without any doubts, he's way better than all the other options you can get. But if you have the money for Chesney, I would say spend 2 or 3k more and you can get, in my opinion, better goalkeepers. Mike McNaw has better reflexes and just in-game feels way better than Chesney. I cannot really express myself because looking to the stats, Chesney seems overall more complete. But Mike McNaw in the game is a no-brainer. Use him. Play with him and he will do wonders for you. And of course, Milinkovic Savic, I believe he is the brother of the Sentomit who plays for Lazio Roma, has a winter wildcard card with Torino. And this goalkeeper, you can see it has 99 speed. So rushing out of the goal is so quick with this goalkeeper. Great as a sweeper keeper. And the best is Centurion Vlerzio Chesney. Hope to pronounce that correctly. With 90 diving and 90 reflexes, this goalkeeper is one of the bravest ones out there and reminds me of John Luigi Donnarumma, his cards back in the day when he was still a Serie A goalkeeper. One of the coolest positions in the Serie A for me is the center back position. For around 7k, Toy Victor Mori is one of the best cheap center backs available in the game. Alongside Rafa Alvarone, for around 5k, I can't name any better, better than Tomori. So, 86 pace with 87 defending, it tells the whole story. Super good for the price you pay for him. If you have a little more to spend, there are so many opportunities in the Serie A to make a combination for around 15 to a maximum of 20,000 coins for each player. So with Danilo, you get yourself almost a root gullet gang member on the center back position. Only the shooting is lower than 80, but even that is extremely high for a center back. So yeah, Danilo is a game changer. Simon Kjör is super good. His World Cup card is breaking record after record. He's such a great card. Alongside Tomori, it's a great combo for AC Milan. Bastoni. Another Centurion card is great. Bonucci, of course, has a decent card. And Denzel Dumfries, with a position change, shape-shifting card from right back to center back, is also a pretty awesome card. And, well, probably the most steady card in this category, it's Bremer. Road to the knockout stage, Juve didn't make it, but Bremer still got himself his 86-rated card. But once again, if you have no money for Bremer, don't worry, Tomori is just as good. One of the hardest positions to buy players for in the Serie A is the left-back position. But the good thing is, the players you can buy are doing a great job. For example, Spinazzola only costs 1k. And with that, he brings quality to the pitch. Mario Rui, an old card, who is still great to use for many people for many games can now be traded with Biragi Centurion because Biragi is more complete and better than Mario Rui and has almost the same price tag. So nice upgrade for all your Serie A team builders. And of course, the best out of best left backs in the Serie A is still Swepti Tihu Hernandez. Around 30,000 coins, but trust me, with a left back like that 
and central backs to Mori and Simon Kjar. With Mike McNaugh, for example, as a goalkeeper, you're going full out metal AC Milan, but you have yourself a great winning team. And it looks damn cool. Because also on the right back position, we have more opportunities. When the game just was released, Juan Cuadrado was honestly the only realistic option to use if you're playing against better opposition. Cuadrado's work rate wasn't the best. Medium defending, high attack, so he's gone all the time. Tolian is a nice replacement for Cuadrado. Calabria, once again, you're able to get an AC Milan player on a position in your defensive line. So if you're going for a full out Milan squad, Calabria is your man to get. And the best option for me in game, I tried them all, is Denzel Dumfries. This time with a, um, is it a World Cup card? I believe it is. For the group stage or just for team of the tournament, correct me if I'm wrong. Denzel Dumfries, 86 rated right back card is changing the game. But, but don't be sad. All the other players on this page will help you win games. Leaving the defensive line behind is returning to the CDM position. And surprise, surprise, once again, two options to build yourself a full AC Milan team. With Sandro Tonoli, the best cheap CDM probably in the game for less than 2k, you find yourself a playmaker on the CDM spot. Benazir alongside of him, almost a root gullet gang member. And of course, Sufian Amrabat, the World Cup hero of Morocco, is playing for Fiorentina, but just take a look at that card. It has everything you desire in front of your defensive line and combining him with Zambo and Guiza. His name is Lo Long that actually some stats are not recognizable on this card but trust me Zambo is a great player and it will all cost you a small budget price. If you're playing the game from the start, you have yourself a lot of coins. So building a team in the Serie A is dirty cheap and super overpowered in FIFA 23. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more and put on all notifications to never miss a daily upload. We're going to the sentiments. You're looking for complete players. Every single stat should be near 80 or over. Like the normal card of Nicola Barella is great. He's actually great, just like Rabiot, 83 rated. But trust me, this 83 rated card will feel like an 88 rated player in game. The good thing about those players, they are quicker and more agile than Milinkovic Savic. His brother was a goalkeeper, the sentiment is here. But I would say Barella and Rabiot, I prefer them over Milinkovic Savic because they're quicker, have more stamina, and I feel more agile in the game. But hey, that's me. The best center mid so far you can get is Barella in form, but you can see a minor change in comparison with his normal gold card, so it's not really necessary. A player that is pretty awesome is Genie Wijnaldum. He's injured all the time for AS Roma, but he was lucky enough to get himself a World Cup card and went up to 88. Wow. Moving on to the camp position, and on the camp position we find Pellegrini, the captain of AS Roma, is still there. He was there in my first video around September when FIFA hit the bank, and now Pellegrini is still there, but then as a super duty player. <laughs> because we have more opportunities, Zielinski and Brahim Diaz, we all know them creativity players. A cam doesn't need the defending and the physicality as much as a center mat does, but that makes Pellegrini, his Centurion card, so damn awesome. It has the speed of Paulo Dybala in his good old days, the shooting of Tati in his cam days, and of course the physicality, the defending, the dribbling. It is a complete Centurion card. So I must say this card is a really awesome looking card who changes a lot of games for me with long shots, through balls, and passing all over the pitch. And of course, if you want to get yourself a hero card for less than 50k, Heidetishi Nakata is the man to go for. Go to the wing positions and then the striker. Starting off on the left wing. Cheap players I can recommend you guys are Chiesa and Rafael Leao. The cards look pretty alike. 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 81 shooting, 77 shooting, 73 physicality, 74 physicality. Only Rafael Leao, he just can't defend. So if you like a more all-round player, you can go for Chiesa, more skiller. Rafael Leao is your man. To upgrade those players, surprise, surprise, once again, you can get yourself a Milan player with Ante Rebic. Look at that damn card. It's 20k, boys. It's 20k for a left winger who has 93 space, 88 dribbling, 87 shooting, 87 physicality, 82 passing. For that amount of money, Lozano can't match Rebic without any doubt is a no-brainer in your team. Rafael Leao in form goes around 50k, is also a great looking car. But once again, Rebic for that price range and the quality he brings, 
Exactly. It's like taking candy from a... No time to waste. We go to the right wing. And yeah, Milan fans, you can try and keep building yourself a full Milan squad with solid markers on the right wing position. A perfect link with Salabria. Uh, Calabria, I must say, the right back of Milan. And solid markers, you can see 90 pace, 89 verbaling, 8 shooting, 85 passing, 78 fit scout, 68 defending. A nice looking card on the Rabies on the left hand side and this man on the right hand side. And you're good to go for 15k. Salad markers is a steal. Fure and Ikoni, I would use them as super substitutions with their speed. They can gain yourselves a lot of advantage. If you're leading the game as a counter-attacking player, they're great. And just to score a goal and try to, well, discourage your opponent with speed all over the pitch. And probably the best right winger to get is the Mexican Messi. Hoving to Lozano, right wing card of the World Cup. Extreme speed, great shooting, great dribbling. Amazing agility makes Lozano the best possible option for you. We go to the last page, full of strikers. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, put the notification bell, and click the i button for videos like this about the Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, and so much more. Click the i button right now after this video, and you are my man. Yes, once again, Milan fans, you can get yourself Giroud to complete yourself a full Milan team. But if you don't have the budget, Muriel. And Dybala will be fine as super agile strikers. Muriel is a speed abuser. He's so lightning quick with amazing dribbling and awesome agility that he will win you a lot of games. And Dybala, you can see it on the card, is an extremely awesome card as well. Then, with Berardi and Giroud, nice looking strikers. Qualiorella, another Centurion. Luckily, the man is almost 40 years old and still breaking nets in the La Liga, uh, in the Serie A, La Liga. Uh, Lukaku at the World Cup, oh, he man, he was a disaster. He cost at Belgium their knockout round ticket, of course, against Croatia. He missed four times on the goal line. It is unbelievable, but Lukaku did it. And um, the best strikers, Moise Keen. Hello, look at me. He's great, he's really great, like Muriel, but then on steroids. Muriel and Keen, by the way, is a combo, is deadly. You can use them. Immobile is a great finisher. And then Brolin, we know him, of course, as a hero. And Lautaro Martinez, a World Cup winner. But he was chosen at the worst team of the World Cup. And that says it all. He played a horrible World Cup. The only thing he did was scoring a penalty against the Dutch national team. But that was all. But Lotaro in the game, don't be fooled, is the best striker you can get on a cheap budget. So who will you buy? How is your team looking? Drop it in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, VivaLafifa87, for daily content as well. You're great. I love making videos for you. So a like will mean the world. And hey, click the i button to see me in the flash with a new video you'll probably love. And of course, thanks for watching and all the best wishes for you and your family. Keep it cool, keep it real, and stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.